Hi guys, welcome to today's session and today we are going to discuss about Integrated Road Accident Database Project IRAD. In this session, we will first discuss a brief about IRAD, then we will discuss uh, the working of IRAD, how it works and uh, then we will discuss few points in general about road accidents in India and then uh, the National Informatics Center which is also a partner uh, in the creation of IRAD, we will discuss a few points about uh, NIC and uh, we will finally discuss uh, what are the other projects under NIC. So this is how I plan this session. Let's now start. So friends, uh, the development and implementation of IRAD has been entrusted uh, to IIT Madras and the National Informatics Center Services. And uh, India accounts for about 5 lakh road accidents uh, per annum in which uh, about 1.5 lakh people die and uh, another 3 lakh uh, become crippled and the project is uh, proposed on the IT based system for capturing the spot accident data using mobile app configured for this purpose and this data can be um, utilized for various purposes like funding the cause of accident and remedial measures to improve the road infrastructure to record the accident data for the use of police health services and other departments uh, concerned uh, so this is a brief about IRAD now discuss how it works so guys the IRAD mobile application will allow the police personnel to enter details about uh, road accident along with uh, photos and videos uh, following which a unique ID will be created for uh, the incident and subsequently an engineer uh, from the public works department of the local body will receive uh, an alert on his uh, uh, mobile device and he or she will uh, then visit the accident site, examine it and feed the required details uh, such as the road design and all and data is collected will be analyzed by a team of uh, team at IIT Madras and which will then suggest if uh, corrective measures in road design need to be taken and road users will also be able to upload data on road accidents on a separate mobile application uh, so this is how it works hopefully it will uh, uh, works towards uh, reducing the road accidents in our country now we we'll discuss a uh, few statistics about the road accidents in india Regarding road accidents in India, according to World Road Statistics, India recorded the highest number of road accident deaths across 199 countries in 2018, followed by China and US. And according to government data, more than 1.5 lakh people lost their lives in road crashes in the country in 2018. And of the total people killed in road crashes in 2018, 48% were between 18 years and 35 years of age and more than 60% of such fatalities were due to overspeeding. Uh, so that is the magnitude of uh, road accidents uh, in India. And you can just imagine uh, how or why the scheme like uh, uh, IRAD is essential or the need of the hour to curb uh, the road accidents in our country. Uh, now we will discuss a few points about NIC that is the National Informatics Center as NIC is a partner in developing this IRAD. So friends, NIC provides a uh, network backbone and e-governance uh, support to central government, state governments and UT administrations. NIC has been closely associated with the government in different aspects of governance besides establishing a nationwide state of art information and communication technology infrastructure. And it has also built a large number of digital solutions to support the government at various levels. Uh, making the last mile delivery of government services uh, to the citizens a reality and it is under the aegis of Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology and it was established in 1976 and is located in New Delhi. So that is a uh, brief information about uh, the NIC. Now we'll discuss few points uh, or few projects under NIC. So there are many projects under uh, NIC. We will discuss a very few very important projects. The first one is Swachh Bharat Gramin. Uh, it was uh, launched by Prime Minister on 2nd October 2014 uh, to promote uh, cleanliness and make India an open defecation free nation. Uh, and uh, then uh, you have MyGov. Uh, 
uh, that is a platform uh, a unique path breaking initiative which is launched in 2014 uh, and uh, the idea was to uh, bring government closer to common mind uh, by using online platforms and creating an interface for a healthy exchange of ideas and views uh, then we have uh, Narega Soft by NIC which is a platform that aims uh, to strengthen the National Rural Employment Guarantee Scheme and uh, this was launched to enhance livelihood security in rural areas by providing at least 100 days of wage employment during every financial year to every household who volunteered to do unskilled manual work and for that the Narega soft uh, was developed by NIC then the e courts project by NIC uh, with a vision to transform Indian judiciary and its traditional practices by enabling uh, ICT for courts and uh, then uh, there is one initiative called Parivish that is an attempt to create a single window integrated system for online submissions of proposals on matter related to environment, forest, wildlife and uh, CRSL clearances. Uh, this connects the applicant uh, directly to respective governments and authorities. Uh, so there are many other initiatives. I just mentioned the five of them which is very important. Uh, so these are the projects which uh, NIC is a part of or majorly uh, NIC developed this. Uh, and uh, that's all for today guys we'll meet tomorrow with another topic and uh, it's a very important uh, topic i are ready uh, especially with your prelims uh, preparation on please study about this in detail and thank you for watching this lesson